are getting electrified. <laughs> Because I didn't know anything about the electricity and I'm learning on the spot. box in this area right here so for a 12 volt system which is gonna be light fan fridge water pump with the wire you have two options you have number one solid number two stranded and for this specific scenario living in a bus with like a shaky environment you want it to be stranded. The way I planned the electricity was there is one main hot wire from the fuse box to the bedroom area. From this one there is plenty of T connectors to bring light where we want in the bedroom area. Then we did the same. A new hot wire from the fuse box to go to the bathroom slash kid room slash hallway and with plenty of T connectors to light this area. Same for the kitchen, same for the living room. We want to do a three-way switches, uh, but we also want to add a dimmer with it. So we're going to do a little example here to make sure we understood all the connection and what to do with all the wire. We need a dimmer specialized with 12 volts and then a light LED, which is dimmable. And because we didn't use like a two by two for a furring strip, we end up using this one to have like thinner wall. But then, well, it's hard to find a box which is thin. We went to McMaster car and found the, uh, the best options, but still we had to do modifications because these are made for houses, not for buses. For example, this one is great, but we don't need this. So I'm basically gonna cut it off and then to put like L brackets. And then these are great, except for these ears right here and this right here. So we're gonna modify them so that it fits our bus. Hopefully it's within code.
are pretty much installed, but it's not connected yet. So what we're gonna do today, Carlos is gonna be here with me and I'm gonna walk him through the circuit and we're gonna start to make like the connection and then we're gonna try it out to make sure everything works perfectly. transformer that I had and it's 12 volt if it works we just know it works we connect this okay so one of the mistakes that we did and it's why it didn't work is because the negative from the light need to come back to the negative of the switch so this is a negative from the light this is a negative we'll go back to the fuse box and uh, this is a ground slash negative from our dimmer switch i do jump and dance the whole night long i will go and sing a song and i can train you to the dance take a look we are advanced what i did for this lamp i ground it to the chassis of the bus and it wasn't working then i figured we would uh instead go back to either the negative or uh or the ground of the the first circuit we did apparently we need to have a closed circuit so when i do this and i put it back in here in the other system ta -da! Ta -da! you have to do this step beyond With a zip tight and unaiman, we end up putting our light up and check if our system works. So I did extra cable just because with a spray foam you want to make sure it didn't like sink back in and you want to have extra to work. So right now to connect the LED light and our 14 gauge wire, I'm using this one. And when it's like well inside, I start twisting and then I just make sure it attach. That's good. So the T connector, I have this part that's gonna cut my main circuit and then it's gonna be like this. And here I'm gonna attach the male connector. It's gonna carry on with a perpendicular wire. So it's just gonna divide his energy. So now I get the other part. I put it inside, squeeze the metallic tube. Sometimes you need to adjust the little things inside to put it in the middle that you need to connect so you just make sure it's inside and not on the side So now we try to connect it to a black wire or we'll go back to the fuse box to see if it's working. Action! Gonna wash my hands of you. that go back to the fuse box. My positive will go to the lamp gonna be connected to another switch that's gonna go three ways. So from here we're gonna have travelers. I'm gonna add him a little hook 
slash fork. So here it's all common. This is gonna be like for our kitchen, here it's gonna be for our living room. And so the power gonna get from here, gonna go from the two traveler to the other switch. So then I'm connecting my travelers. <laughs> I'm going to be attached to the common and distribute the power to the light. From the com of the second switch, I attach my light. Switches. So those are the traveler and here from my fuse box the hot power. This one if we don't break this part gonna feed both of my switches. Well, you need to break this fin in order to separate the two switches because they're two uh, separate circuits. Daddy, daddy, daddy. 